Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. And we drop news every day and we also react to every videos that comes our way. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, we appreciate you for your massive support. And we say may God richly bless you all for supporting this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please kindly smash on the subscribe button. Put on the bell so you get to know anytime we drop a new video. I have a video to present to you this very moment and I will be watching that video with you. And after watching, let's drop our opinion constructively at the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Yeah, I want to, I want to send a message to Ogidi Youth. Ogidi Youth and also some... I saw some emo youth uh, complaining about uh, the economy in Igbo land. I want to remind them that Fulani headsmen have destroyed the economy through the destruction of the farms, through open grazing, and none of these people came out to condemn the act. None of them actually organized themselves in group to condemn the Fulani headsmen rampaging destroying killing our people in their farms and now because of the one day in a week sit at home all of them are crying you can see that they are all sponsored they are all sponsored by politicians uh so uh these youth that are coming out now these people that are coming out they are not speaking for Igbo youth they are only speaking uh for the politician who have bought them over but uh, one thing I need to make them understand that they should direct their anger to the government to release uh, Mazen Namdekano, who had been illegally detained, who is being illegally detained. That should be their call right now. Uh, for the seat at home uh, to be uh, reviewed or for the seat at home order every Monday to stop, you should be putting pressure on the government that is holding Mazin Nam the Kano. Tell them to release Mazin Nam the Kano that the sit at home is affecting your economy. That the sit at home is affecting the economy. Uh, as soon as they release Mazin Nam the Kano, there will be call off of every Monday sit at home. So rather than you taking your anger to IPOB, take your anger to those who are holding the leader of IPOB uh, against. Uh, international law and against the 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 right of uh, fair hearing. Uh, we are talking about extraordinary rendition, illegal arrest made in Kenya, and uh, forceful, uh, uh, forcefully bringing him back uh, and detaining him uh, in DSS custody in Nigeria. You should focus on that. You know, if you feel that the economy of Igbo land is being affected as a result of every Monday sit at home, why not call on the government to release uh, Mazen Nam the Kanu so that the sit at home will end rather than uh, trying to, uh, you know, fight IPOB? You should be fighting the government who is holding the leader of IPOB so that IPOB will call off the. That is how reasonable people behave. That is how people with intelligence, all of you are claiming to be intelligent. But now you have shown that you, 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 you have sold your intelligence to your politicians. You have sold it for maybe 500 or 1,000 naira. You know? So what you should be doing, all those people in Imo, they say they be Imo youth. Uh, all those people with you know giddy we say that you're giddy youth since fulani headsmen have been killing and pillaging your community none of you rose up with your uh, uh giddy youth now have shown that they even have pump action but you didn't use it to stand up against uh, fulani headsmen and pursue them from the farm what a shame when it comes to your freedom you fight against it but when it comes to your uh subjugation when it comes to your oppression, you don't speak, you hide under the bed. So direct your anger to the government to free Nan the Kano so that the, uh, every Monday people can go about their normal duties. Until the leadership of IPOB review the, their position on Monday sit at home, the sit at home will continue. 
and the Bia fans are responding. You look at what happened in the street and they are even ready to do more because they understand that they are going to make the sacrifice and they are doing it very well. So some of you coming out to complain, some of you are APC members, some of you are politicians who feel that you are benefiting one or two things at the moment. Yeah? Some of you parading as a giddy youth, uh, emo youth, some of you are under the payroll of the government, of who's the man, the, the Igbo, Igbo governor, who want to continue to give you peanut to keep you, you know, uh, subjugated, keep you oppressed. So wake up and tell the, gov uh, the government of Nigeria to free Nan the canon, because that is the only call that we can hear now. This evening, we're going to be discussing uh, some of the uh, uh, issues that are happening now, especially the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, as the way the, the uh, government are hiring uh, these uh, talks and some youth in some part of Biafra land. And they are, they are you know, staging some protests and all that. So it is the evidence, it is evidence that we finally hit the jackpot. We finally hit the jackpot. Uh, we are hitting the jackpot and, uh, and uh, we, we finally have gotten them, you know, where it pains. So uh, like, we have or, or like, like we have already said, we will be reviewing, reviewing this, uh, this uh, sit at home order to make it more even uh, uh, you know, you know, to bring more, more measures that will that will uh, affect uh, the government as well. So, what you see now going on in uh, you know Gidi, you know Gidi, Ogidi uh, youth, you know Ogidi youth. We don't know how many there are. Uh, what what you see going on in Ogidi youth is very very shameful. Uh, Ogidi people are not uh, are not uh, known for those kind of uh, those kind of uh, chaotic uh, behavior. So we uh, have actually watched, watched with a very keen interest the uh, the uh, the leader of the of the youth, you know, Gidi. You know, uh, that person should check himself. I'm going to play that video here, and I'm sending a very uh, strong message to Gidi. Gidi people are not known to be coward. Gidi, Gidi people are not known to be coward. So the uh, the president, whoever the president of the youth of Ogidi, whoever he is, wherever he's coming from, and whoever that is paying him to uh, to bring pump action, uh, you know, where, and start walking on the street, they should should retract immediately. The, he should retract his steps, and uh, and uh, don't go further with this. This is not a threat, but is a fact. We know that Ogidi people are not cowards. And uh, so the Ogidi boys, the uh, Ogidi youth, they should know that uh, somebody cannot lead them, collect money from uh, uh, probably is a member of one political uh, party, collected money, and they want to show some muscle. So that will not be allowed. That will not be allowed. And Ogidi people must come out to distance themselves from, uh, from uh, that kind of man. I'm going to play that video this evening. We know that, you know, more of it will be coming. Uh, we know uh, uh, that uh, some of, uh, some of uh, those kind of uh, things will be coming. We, we know that. And we know that uh, 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 people will be paid to stage this. But then they can protest uh, for all we care. The only protest that will matter is when they, when they come to protest, the military will deal with them because... Because the military and the Nigeria police and the joint joint uh, tax force will deal with them on Monday. So if they want to show their power, they can come and face the military. Because we are not even going to to you know disturb anybody. Because the military will use them to blackmail hip hop. You know. So if they want to protest, they should come on Monday when the sit at home will be going on to protest, so that the military will use them. The Nigeria security agents they are trying to. To talk to, we use them to to do a pepper soup. So the thing we are trying to say now is that more of this may come, and it, you know it can also be that uh, not all not all youth will be will be cowardic. 
and the stupid to collect money in this critical time of the struggle for Biafra and, uh, and uh, you know, come to, come to the street to say they are not uh, supporting the seat at home. The seat at home, it has now proven that uh, uh, we, we hold them where it pains them. And uh, we are going to put more measures. In, order, in addition to this seat at home, we are going to put more measures. And let me make it very clear. Anybody that tells you that one day of, uh, uh, one day of, uh, of a seat at home is going to grant his uh, activities or business, the person knows that he's lying. Nobody that is doing business, nobody that is a businessman in Biafra land that will wake up today and tell you that, uh, oh, because I did not open on Monday, so my business crashed, is a lie. Nobody. So we know anybody who is in business who is in business knows exactly, you know, that uh, you know opening on Monday or not opening on Monday. It doesn't matter which day, whether Monday, Tuesday, if you if you don't open your shop one day in a week, it doesn't make you poor and it will not crash your business. So anybody coming to tell you that is strictly and directly working with the government. And for those who follow this kind of president of youth or youth president you know, to come and start demonstrating in the street today because they did not demonstrate yesterday. They were paid by the political parties. Probably anybody that is joining me now must go away. I don't take people now until I put the link. So the, uh, the, uh, the, the issue here is that all the people that joined that man with, because of ignorance, they must all desist from doing that.